One nice feature of the Affinity Suite of applications is that the save files from any of the applications can be loaded in any other application. Basically, all the Affinity applications share the same engine, I guess. This allows us to have a vector warp group in Photo, which is pretty awesome. I can copy over a vector warp group from Designer to Photo and then use it in Photo. If you don't have Designer 2, I will put a link in the description to a Photo file which you can use. The vector group in Affinity Photo can be modified and used just like in Designer. In order to modify it, we need to select the Node tool. Once the Node tool is selected and the Warp group is selected in the Layers panel, we get the Warp options on the top toolbar. I can now modify the preset to Arc Horizontal and change the Arc value. Pretty cool! I can also change the contents within the Warp group, for example the text. As you see, on my PC the real-time screen update does not work smoothly, but with a simple zoom in and zoom out, which forces a refresh on the screen, it fixes itself and is shown correctly. I would advise to temporarily turn off the warping by enabling the Mute Mesh checkbox while the warp group is selected with the Node tool. We can now easily add vector elements in the group and then turn on the warp. So, why would you want to have a vector warp group in Affinity Photo? We already have a live warp filter, which can do pretty much the same. Well, there are two reasons. The first reason is that the vector warp group works on vector level. The result will be much sharper. Let me show you what I mean. If I really zoom in now, notice the difference between the two. So warping vector objects with the vector warp group makes definitely sense. The second reason is that the vector warp group allows you to convert the warp objects into separate curves by using the Convert to Curves button. The Live Filter does not have this option, which makes sense as it works on pixel level. You can now modify or use the separate curves according to your design. I hope you found this info useful and thanks again for watching.